Hello guys, Luke Hodge here, and today it's Saturday, as normal we got the Saturday book for you lot. Uh, and yesterday, well there's not a lot, I do try and see if Dan wants to come, but apparently he's busy and something blah blah nonsense. But he just doesn't want to come, it looks like, because I did say you could come on Saturday, and then my dad was about me having someone over, and I also wanted someone, because I'm sure it was last weekend, I'm sure it was, when I had to rip out and clean all this, but I said I did that on Tuesday, it was mainly all of that. Um, and I don't want to be end nil, I want to get out so I don't have someone tell me I've got to sort that out. Because I don't want to do that today, I want to get out in the browns and make my, my, my weekend that little bit more interesting instead of being stuck in a box. Um, so yeah, I, yeah, there's quite a lot today, but yeah. It's not so long, summer holidays are heading in, and let me just tell you some things before, because this will affect upload schedules, and there's someone at the door. Why is there someone at the door? Invading our privacy. Don't get don't get out of the door. Wait until they've gone. Anyway, carrying on, they've left. Uh, talking about more about the upload. Um, we uh, have quite a lot to do. Um, for the first two weeks of the holiday, I will not be uploading except on Saturday and Sundays because I'm going away caravanning. This mostly always happens when I go away on holiday. And I did start doing the videos, but I don't think I started blogging. But I did an unboxing of my iPod Shuffle. Um, Bits and gold, my first iPod shuffle I've owned. It's, it's definitely a better upgrade than running with a uh, crap cheap, cheap and free free play from Aldi. Um, indeed. Um, so, yeah, I bought that. I unboxed that. That was in my awning. I when I was in the camera, but I got that. I used practically all my data. I actually, no, I didn't use my data, but I did try and upload something using my data. Uh, what I did upload was using at one of my friend's house now. Last year would have been a lot easier because we'd see that we practically saw them every day. But now that's going to be harder because we're not. It's not. The, we're not going to the exact same place last year when we saw them every single day. I Meaning uploads are going to be very harder. As soon as I could do blogs, then I wish I did start then because that means I could upload to them practic practically every time because we saw them every day and went to the house. But um, had errands and all these, so uploads would be possible. But because I might only see them once from the entire holiday of the two weeks we're staying. That's not going to be happening, I don't think. Vlogs. Um, so, yeah, Saturday and Sunday's um, for the two weeks there. You'll get on the first week, you'll get a Saturday and Sunday, and then the second week, and you'll get on a Saturday and Sunday. Uh, and, I'll, and I'll use my mobile data, up, and I'll try not to use my phone that much the internet because. Um, I want to still get uploads out, but it's going to be like a normal story. But for the after those two weeks when I get home, we'll be doing it every day until I go back to school in September time. So it's a nice big challenge for me. It'll be a long, it'll be a couple of weeks of blogs, but I'm going to try and make that possible. So I'm going to do that. But I'm going. I'm going to. T I've just told you that now because. I just need to, I, I want to get it out there before the holiday starts, so let's just kick it, let's just start off as that, so you guys know what's coming up for me, for my upload schedule, because, but no one get angry, don't leave, I'm still going to be uploading, but, um, it's, I'm not going to be really uploading when I'm away on holiday in a van, because there's no internet or anything there, except using my one gig of data, that will probably go in, in the two weeks, probably, 
and but I have had a refresh of data this morning because I never got through the gig um, last month it was quite surprising but I nearly did um, so I don't know if that might be dumped on top this year I'm not sure I'm gonna have a look you have two notifications well my bill is completely uh, let me see okay that's cool um, so yeah I've got um, all reset actually I'm not sure that I just remember it just has my number showing at the top so no 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 don't show that that's gonna that's not gonna help me out I hope it didn't catch it up otherwise I'm gonna get looking macted demacted now but if I creep up so it doesn't show my number I've got on mega data then so yeah, that's cool. Um, that's the problem. I think that's. Anyway, I'll catch you guys later because uh, I gotta get in the shower. So yeah, catch you in a bit. Okay, as you can see, I'm now dressed. But I have another thing I want to say. It's not about the upload process, but about my eyesight. Um, this is a bit of a weird th thing for me to say, but. Um, Recently, I found out when I'm in school and stuff, um, if I'm sitting at the back of the classroom with the whiteboard speed, there's no one blocking my sight but my, but the words on the whiteboard before when I first came to the school and stuff, I've never had a problem, but quite recently, for, for mo quite a couple of months now, I've been finding it hard to see when the, even there's no one blocking the way but my actual eyesight. Because uh, when I'm home, when I'm up close to the thing, everything's fine, but I found out. But, some of my friends have had this, but except I've never done anything about it. Um, but recently, one of my friends had sort of the same thing, so that he went to the eye ties thing, more like me, I never went, I never really thought about it that much. And they ended up, they were sh half short blinded or something. Like, not actually blind, they can still see things, but I think that's what they say, I think that's the word for it. But they can still see well, but they can't see far distances that well, but I think that his is a little bit more worse. But of how it looks I have the same problem sort of so but I'm gonna get but after talking to his mom and my myself of now I'm I'm probably gonna go for my appointment soon not today of course but it'll probably be at some point it'll probably be after I get back from holiday but I was thinking well if I want to wear glasses I if I'm gonna have to wear glasses to see things not all the time because I don't need like I'm I, I, it's not blurred I don't have to wear them all I can take them off and be um, blog. It's just when I need to read and stuff, really. But I think I might probably you know, wear them all the time, probably. But um, um, it depends. But I've been looking at glasses, and I've wondered. Well, if I want a pair, and if my mom says no, I'd at least want to pay, spend the money on these pair of glasses. Seems um, if I'm gonna have to wear them all the time, I want something that's in my school list stuff. I want it to be. Yeah, good and stuff. So I've been looking at glasses, and on on the um um what was it Specsavers website, I couldn't really find any glasses for Tive, so I really wanted. So I was um, looking around last night on my iPad, scrolling around and stuff, and I found the glasses that I sort of that I like um, now. The Oxmas, they don't show the price on it, but they're not that bad because they're about last year's gener two years generations ones. But I've been looking at the um, Ray Bans um, ones. As everyone knows, Ray Ban are very popular glasses, but they are so very expensive. I've been looking at these. Um, they're actually very similar to my sunglasses ones, but they're not Ray Bans. I wish they were, but sunglasses are very more expensive than the normal eye glasses but these are the optician ones of what I need ray bands you see they look like these they look nice indeed so if I am short buying these the ones here you can get them all different colours like let's say oh yeah I forget I took a photoshop but like you can have it in different styles and stuff but I just want the plain black ones and it'll do me just fine so yeah I've just been looking at glasses and those are the ones I really want and I found out on eBay and even if I do get ones I probably will get a from HS or free ones but if I want stylish and stuff, I'll get those. And I found out even brand new ones off 
eBay from quality sellers. Um, let's say they're just home pair and they don't want them when they've seen them in hand. They're brand new, about 50 quid, more than them from other stores, probably be 100. As near enough catching up something, but they're not as twice as much as the sunglasses are. But I found they are very similar to my sunglasses, not these, of course. Um, they're in that sheen, these um, spec savers. Um, I mean, don't wear these, not subscription optician sunglasses, these are just um, um, these, these are just one of the cases from my um, dad's ones, but they look very similar, not exact, but they're gonna look very similar like this, a bit like my sunglasses they have so yeah that's cool I'll oh, just close the lid there you go um, so yeah um, I might be needing less than those are the ones I particularly want but yeah um, yesterday there's not really a lot on plan set I think about things now I've never ever thought I'd ever say this but I'm sort of missing Android software because literally I have no Android or near enough anything else. It's all based on Apple products because literally I don't have an Android phone or anything anymore. I have my iPad, that's iOS. I've got my main phone, that's an iOS device. And my second device, like an iPod streaming, small streaming device, that's iOS too. And literally the only different software that I ever have in my entire room right now is my Windows PC. And the, my old phone that's um, Windows as well. I've got nothing Android. I'm sort of missing the flexibi flexibility for, um, for Android. I'm wondering um, if I can have my own Nexus back from my dad. Because, well, we um, the main part of my deal of getting the iPad, but even when my mum didn't really agree on it, but yeah, I gave it anyway. Since I knew it would just sit to dust, but... Until now, I really need one to have both tablets. Um, recently, he's been using it a lot. He's been very happy with it until the batteries gave up. Um, but it has been a bit slow and the catch is going off on it. But I've found all the fixes to that. So, And batteries are quite cheap for the first generation. So I don't know. I feel like I'm going to want to ask him. Seems I just found and gave him my old phone of his. But, and so I'm wondering if Sims that's in working condition. Because I know how to work out the video. Sims, it's actually very simple. Um, I'll put a link down in the description if you really are interested because this is most, probably the best tablet I've ever seen to replace a battery on or practically enough anything so you know I'm feeling very tempted um, to fix this thing because I want to have a bit of Android for it isn't I don't want the fast thing I just want a thing so I can um, experience the app store and some of the Google software since I do like Android for its flexibility but it just wasn't really the same and now I've experienced this I still like it of course don't blame me it's a nice device it's a nice piece of software but it doesn't have the most flexibility as Android does and you can't get an app um, software thing that runs at the back of it just to experience and down stuff in the Play Store and stuff it's just not the same so yeah I'm I'm really wanting to experience it so yeah that's what I'm gonna do I'm just I'm gonna ask my dad to have my next best since he hasn't used it in a month it won't even power on it's that dead so and it's very dusty and looking very filthy so I wonder if he'll let me back um, so yeah I'm going to ask him later on but yeah battery replacements are very cheap about 8 quid and the, but most of them were a bit dodgy sellers and stuff but the best quality ones and also special prying tools were about a maximum of 10 12, 12 pounds as I can slightly remember. Yes, it was 12 quid, but I'll probably go for the 8 quid. So I've seen people just use screwdrivers and it's not really my main tablet, so I don't mind if it really gets damaged as long as it's not scruffy looking. Because actually my tablet's in very good nick because I had practically a cover on all the time um, and never ever went off, but yeah. Anyway, I decided, um, I've already had breakfast, but I expect to have lunch at the moment, but yeah. Those glasses things, though, that's a big step um, of the turnity. But I'll tell you what, my the um, thing after tiny up with the charging little unit thing is working well. I've got the old phone charging on my battery pack that I used a little bit um, a week ago. That I've forgotten to charge off. Just put them. I've just put all those on now. It's really, really effective. I really like it. Seems that means I don't have to have all this going all day. So yeah, I'm very, very happy with that. And after tiny up, it's a lot more organised and I'm very happy about it. But I'm thinking about moving the laptop laptop um, 
the robot back there because I do have more boxes and stuff and I'd want to put my, more technology on there. I could definitely get quite a bit more down in that corner so I think about maybe doing that but I don't want to do that today since I want to get out of the belt but I'm not oh shoot stupid PC mat just slipped all over you but the weather's a bit turning it's not raining or anything but I'm not quite sure mate not a good thing and just go out for a ride this morning since I actually haven't gone on my bike for a week or two so or I think it might have been in three or two weeks so I think it should be I think it might be two weeks possibly um, so I think I might get out and about I'll, I might check on the camping ground because last time I went there the video that I put on the bike thing I need I ran right into it near enough so um, so um, yeah I want to really um, I want I need a friend straight into it, so I want to check everything else today. You know, so I've, I've found some really artistic people that's been making like houses out of trees and then um, making just making the wood and making it into sort of the ground and making it into clay and stuff and making walls. It's very artistic, and I wanted that with the like the little toiletry area, really build that up and you know like screw it into the wall like it's proper permanent. And, make everything out of wood and stuff it's really good tools and i really want to do that and i want to improve my fence things and i must say it was good to begin with but after months or so it sort of collapsed down and as soon as my intruders come in try, try and annoy me and make me feel quite annoyed and upset um seems why would you destroy someone else's thing it's not nice don't do it people um <laughs> but yeah i'm thinking after i experienced that just in case i ever cut them but i think i do know who it is I'm not going to say who, but I'm sure it might be the people that are best in building their own den. I'm sure of that, and I'm very tempted to pull another one of my crappy cameras out there and, for, and just silk on the entire thing and have the entire thing recorded if it ever happens again. Seems I'm very, very tempted that's what's happening. But, um, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to. I probably won't go right now since I might have lunch, but the glasses, though, that's a big step, and I do like the Ray-Bans. They're just. They're just nice quality glasses, and I just love the design of them and everything. But yeah, anyway, guys, I I'm just going to relax here for a bit, just because I think lunch might be happening, and I'll catch you guys in a bit. Bye. Guess what? Look what I got. A Nexus Seven, my the tablet that created this YouTube channel. Which is, well, it was reset when I gave it to my dad, but the battery is falling on it, so I found a load. Phone of his that works. As soon as the battery's broken, this he sort of gave this to me. We, I suppose we sort of did a swap. See, but it looks like it needs a battery. But I'm just going to see if I can get any life out of it. Or apparently, my dad said when he last used it, it lasts for a couple, about an hour or two, so, or a day. So, and it would often last longer. So, um, I'm going to charge it up and see, and, and just see if I get any life out of it. Because I know it works. Because it works. Because it worked perfectly fine when you last used it, except from the battery. So um, it should charge up or give us a little bit of life. But well, after doing all that stuff, and just now, when I was just about to get out ready, since so when that thing's charging, guess what? That's just happened. The camera never picks up the rain that much, and it's very, very, very light rain. But it's raining. And if you, and instead of the cars going past, I don't know if the microphone can pick it up. But it is raining. So yeah, I think that might be cancelled only if it dries up later on today. So yeah, I've just done something though. There's not a lot of jelly beans left in here, but I've managed to fix my jelly bean machine so it actually might take coins. So I'm going to test that now, but I've done all the blockage because last time I wasn't quite sure. But I think I know what the problem is. So now, so I'm going to repair it, put the screw back on and see what happens. You can do this in your finger tight, so yeah, actually, let me turn some lights on because of it being grey in it, it, it's slightly a little bit grimmer. But, um, yeah, can I bounce that up so I can talk to you guys while my screen is singing? Uh, if that does it, if that works at all, that's the best I can do. But yeah, that's that. I'm very tempted to see what happens with this tablet, see if I can get it working. Um, so yeah. But of all the camping ground stuff, um, though the person that's like building, he knows how to build up proper den stuff. And he's got a million subscribers, and he hasn't even posted a lot of videos, so there's definitely a lot of people interested, like myself. 
So I'm gonna put a link. I'm gonna put a link down in the description to the channel if you wanna have a look because it's really artistic and very interesting. So you might wanna follow him or def if you don't wanna subscribe to him, definitely have a look because it's very interesting. And I, I'm not even kidding. It is interesting. Right then. Yes. Yes. I don't need all of that in my room. Bye. Oh, how much? So is that? I don't know. Mum brought it all on holiday from Disney. Yeah, I'll sort it out. Put it in the back and we can sort it out. Sorry about that. Anyway, the lid's screwed on, so let's get a coin. There's a 1p stuck in here, so I'm going to put a 5p to start off easy. Um, so, let me give that a go. Um... Uh, do, 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 do. Come on, wallet, get out of my pocket. It's not. You don't have to be scared. Shh. Uh, 5p. Try a small coin first. Uh, okay. Right. Here we go. Let's see what happens. This might not be good. Uh. It's a bit of a snag. Here, let me just uh, do that. Balance you up. Oh. Oh. Come on, it's thinking about it. Oh. No, it doesn't like that. Um. That's not going to be happening. Hey, I got one out. I suppose that's something. But, hey -oh. um, I suppose I'll take it pot again and experiment more. Uh. Okay then, guys. I found a battery. Here it is. Uh, £8.92 and free delivery. Yeah, lad. Um, new condition, brand new. Genuine Asus, Asus battery. Um... Now, if it be in battery and not costing that much, I'm not really that bothered. If I was buying a phone from there, like a complete phone, I might be a, and the entire tablet, I might be willing Because it, the Scylla has only got 98.5 positive feedback, but it's the best one I found for the cheaper. So, it's not a lot of money, but as long as it works and stuff, I don't really mind. Um, but yeah, it, of all the description and stuff, it seems to be really good. Um, so, so, yeah. I'll, I'm definitely thinking about using this for sure, or oh, I am going to use this one since this is the cheapest and the one that doesn't actually have any right, and that says Asus, so it's definitely the genuine looking battery until it turns up, I don't know, but apparently it is a genuine bat, it's an Acer for Asus, and that's the, how it looks, I'm guessing it's exactly a genuine battery, but, um, yeah. But yeah, the tablet though, I've it's running off the back. I've actually got this time for it to actually boot up in onto onto the um, operating system because before it booted up, but it had starting Android and it was counting up apps and stuff. And then if, when I went down to eat my lunch, it refused to back up until now. I've managed to get it going, but I, but it's got a password on it that I'm going to have to ask my dad for because I cannot get it. I've tried everything. That, of course, I'm going to say the password was anything, but it, it's very glitchy though. Know, look, if I scroll, it is it is very glitching right now. It's 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 right. And you see now there. Look, if if I just enter in a random code or something, look how glitchy it is. It's taking a lot for that to work. And look, it's even glitching just there. And you see, by the time it's glitched, it'll just keep illuminating, and then it'll die down like it is now. It'll go into sleep mode. So I've got to sort something out about that, and I'm going to have to. I'm going to sort it out before I get the battery. Seems if if I can't get the glitch point, well, it's not worth it because you can't practically use it. So, but yeah, I'm going to try and get that thing working. But overall, it's not in bad nick. I, it's very easy to take apart, so that's why I'm going to do the battery job myself instead of getting an iFixer. fixer. Because literally, the, it's like a flip phone, you just or one of those cheap phones. Like a Nokia, of course with the iPhone it's a bit more complicated like that. You've got to take the screen out with tools and stuff and it's 
that's a little bit more complicated Apple products care part, but more like these cheap ones, or mostly cheap ones like Nexus and things like that. that my Nokia, you can just put your nails around that and pop it off. So can you do this, you just gotta use um, your nails. That says it's a little bit hard, but like a little screwdriver or a blade like this. I use this because it's a lot thinner at the edge. So you can really do this at home. Um, you can just pry the back off, and it's a very simple thing to do. And I had a go at myself just to see mine is like that. Seems it's already glut glitchy in bad enough condition as it is. So I don't, it's just not really a big thing if I break it all. Cause, but um, it seems it's not worth that much money anyway seems it's about i think i've seen most of these on the internet most of these things go for 15 quid i think that may be the lowest memory one so but these things are dirt cheap now they're like dirt cheapy as hell so that's why i saw batteries on 35 quid on ebay Ge definitely genuine from the f well for, i didn't see those on ebay 35 quid on amazon Ge direct genuine from amazon sent from the asus themselves manufacturer from Nexus 7. For this tablet, first generation of course, because the second generation has a camera, selfie camera, as this one has, well set the new one, the second generation has the front face camera, but this one doesn't have for some reason, that I find really weird. Um, but, yeah, it's all functioning well, well, not really well, but, um, they're worth, but for the genuine, um, for the genuine battery for this though, it'd be 35 quid, 35 quid from Amazon genuine when the when you can buy one of these things to use as the dirt cheap you I could get a cellular one 3g tablet the 3g version of this tablet for about 40 quid and for the battery for that I could buy an entire new tablet I could even buy I well not buy an entire brand new one but I could buy a much um, better one than that and have a sim card thing in so it's not worth spending that 35 quid really only if you have the much modern one where you'll get a lot more money for it if you can use the price and everything else. But more like this, you're just going to... The cheapest, the best option for this seems it's just not worth it for the dice and how it is at the moment. So, you know, profits, lo things lose their money worth and I, I just don't want to spend that much money. It seems if I ever, if any of my dad or me or anyone else in the family gave it to them and they want to sell it, it's just not going to be... I'm just, you're just... I'm all of them are just not going to get that money back, so for the battery and everything else, or definitely I am since I'm the one going to be spending the money for the battery, so the 8 quid I'll get money back for just that for sure if I'm going to sell it, but the 35 quid I probably won't for this, and especially with how glitchy it is, that's one thing for sure, but it's a disappointing, but ayo, that's that, alright, you turn it on, it works, you scroll it up if it possible. You enter a random code of some sort. Well, yeah, that's very unlikely. Um, but yeah, it'll just glitch. Stay there. Stay there. And it'll dim down to how it's going to be right now. Um, so yeah, I've got to sort something out now. It's only six minutes long, so I'll catch you guys later after I've recessed it if I do. Or basically getting into it so yeah catch you guys later okay then guys i catch you up with a big one here's the tablet it's charging as you know it's up to 41 percent so the battery is holding charge but the tablet i've reset the tablet i've got my um account on it now and it's just updating some apps and then i'm going to do the tablet because it's already fast enough after doing a software update but it's guaranteed when i start to install some games and some apps and stuff like that, it's guaranteed to slow down again. So I'm going to do the t thing that I saw on YouTube to stop that from happening because it still holds up at a bit of the moment. And when I start doing it, and that's how it was before my dad, and he's only had it for whenever I got my iPad. So it's only been a couple of months. Um, whenever I put my um, iPad on box video, it was since at that I maybe had it about a week or two since have a tablet so I could transfer photos and bits even when you can't do a lot of photos on that but some info that I need to, to transfer so um, yeah there's quite a lot but I'm just doing but because I, I don't have any of that anymore to, or any apps that I can remember but I'm just getting the tablet gathered up together I'm thinking about taking that at this the um, Nexus as long as I can get it working perfectly 
I'm thinking about taking it on the caravan hold on my caravan holiday because that because the best um, the main reason why I was so missing Android is because Android you can get a YouTube download of it will be an absolute lifesaver. Seems you can't do that on this. That's the only di big. That's the one thing I hate about this. You cannot get a YouTube downloader from the App Store, and I don't want to install any things off webs an application or install Insidia on my main iPad. I don't want to screw that on more like this. You don't have to install any jailbreak apps on Android. You can just get a YouTube download from the App Store and it'll save it into your photo library then. It's also cool because that means then you can transfer that to your computer and you can have a copy of that video. Let's say you want to download someone's YouTube video and, uh, and let's say their channel clips now you've got all the clips of their videos so you could do a channel make a channel of theirs and put all their videos up or or if you just want to keep a copy on hand but I that's why I like Android for portability so yeah I'm just getting that all sorted up right now um, but I'm before I start storing apps like that I would need to get the software thing done but overall here's the tablet and it's working um, sorry if this time has been a bit boring all the time uh, but I the rain has stopped, so I think I'm going to go for a bike ride. I'm just going to have a stick my head out of the window. It looks weird, just and put my hand out, but I can't see any rain or any light stuff. So, and to be fair, it's looking pretty dry. And why the hell it looks that dirty? I have no idea. It wasn't like that this morning, but I don't know. It's still pretty damp. Hey, anyway, we could do it in the morning, probably, or a little bit later on. But talking about a little later on, I don't think that's going to be happening. It's about it's past four already, but I know something tonight. It's got to be sit. It's similar night tonight. Apparently, a family similar thing. I like it or not, so I want to get all the tablet and stuff done. But I really wanted to get this tablet done. And I'm glad I have it back because my dad doesn't care about it anymore. It was bad enough already, but I'm going to fix that now. And when he sees it's all working, he probably wants to tell it again. But I'm thinking about maybe his family. You know, we could get maybe get him another tablet, or like a proper modern one, because. Da this is 2012, let me see, it's t that was a 2010, 11, it's a 2012 um, Nexus 7, first generation, so it's, 20, so it's a 2012, 2013, 2013, 2014, 2015, 2016, it's, it's only, it's only, by next year it'll be about four years old, so it's heading on to quite, uh, it's, it's already it's four years old already. If it isn't bad, but it's heading to quite an old device now, and and next year will be five years old. So I think we'll buy him something a little bit more modern, as soon as it's four years old, and that's and most people upgrade to them after two years old and stuff like that. So you know, if if they're not a gadget -y and they gray upgrade their tablet every year or so, but yeah, that's that though. So I'm gonna catch you guys later. Bye now. Nice good news. Um, I've got everything I need installed on on the Nexus for now. I've got um, Facebook, uh, Facebook, Instagram, Google Chrome, of course, so I can get it on the internet. YouTube, YouTube, so I can monitor what's happening on my YouTube channel. Uh, Antivirus, stop the um, just in case the because Android's very known for getting viruses if you're very unlucky. So I've got that there for most Chinese apps to make sure anything that's un unknown, like, you know, it protects it. We've got, um, yeah, we've got the top row. We've got Twitter, Amazon, of course, um, eBay, YouTube channel. We're going to give YouTube da da video downloader, if I can see how that works out. And we've got Hangouts, and we got Gmail, of course, on the screen so far. So, yeah, that's pretty much everything for those got so far on this tablet and I tell you what even with the battery low it's and having the the um battery trouble, it actually seems to be functioning after doing the reset and the BIOS thing to make it go faster this tablet is working really really well so yeah guys it's near in 30 minutes or actually 30 roughly 37 minutes it's gonna hit six o'clock and I want to get this video out um, by tonight and by all the time I'm still probably going to be editing it it will be up tonight so I don't have to do it in the morning you can just get straight up onto it but yeah the weather hasn't been great but it has dried up now but the weather hasn't been ideal but 
I'm gonna go for Y, but go for Y, but I want to get the editing done first. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna move on now. So instead, Eve, it must be good because even there's there's some children in the house over away from me just there that always gets in the bog. There's a trampoline down, the kids are down, so, and my patio is looking very dry, so, you know, guys, I'm probably going to get out there, but I'm not going to film, I'm just going to get out there and do it all before I do my editing. So, yeah, guys, that's, that was it for today's video, so, yeah, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now.